where Acadiana is. I'll be there. There's the whistle. You know what that means. UL football is officially on. Come Saturday at 11 o'clock, taking on the two lane. Is are they the waves? The green wave. The green wave. The green. It's gonna be a great game. Seriously. And Coach Des is about to put Al Abear into the game. Wouldn't that be interesting? Offensive coordinator Al Abear. Or uh, Al Abear, motivational. Yeah, liaison. Let Al give the pregame talk. Al, what would be your first line to the team? Okay, I would say don't lose. Boom. Good. Right to the point. Don't Jack, lose. Get don't right lose. to it. Good. And start with a there good go. breakfast. If you don't lose, you're in good shape. Yeah. I tell you what, this is amazing. Um, we are, of course, at the UL Alumni Association with Amy Armstrong, our, our good friend, and our good friend, Marie Santani. Now, Marie. Yes. We're, we're, this is all tailgating, but this is fancy tailgating. That's right. That you can do if you want a different spin. Tell us what we're about to do. So... As you know, this Saturday's game was moved to 11 o'clock, so mm -hmm. people are going to be getting out very early to tailgate, so we thought we'd do a brunch. So earlier this morning, we made this homemade biscuits, grilled ham, uh, goat cheese, and fig preserve Yum. little breakfast sandwich, and now we're going to make our cocktail. I love which it. Which is even fancier than the sandwich. Holy cow. Make. It doesn't get fancier than this. So where do we start? Well... This is, I'm going to say it's a champagne-based health shake because we have, you know, we have cranberry juice, which makes it healthy. Oh, absolutely. So this is something that I learned how to do. Um, the Windsor Court Hotel in New Orleans has mm -hmm. a very fancy tea. Mm -hmm. And in Christmas time, as you get into the holidays, they do a poinsettia, which is champagne and cranberry. But they do theirs with anise-infused simple syrup. So that's oh, what we're nice. going to make. So this is star anise or anise. Looks like this. And it smells like licorice. It's kind of a good mm -hmm. fall, uh, just kind of a hearty smell. Now, where do you find this? I got this on Amazon. Sometimes you can luck out and find it in a store, but it's such a, a specialty thing that most people don't cook with anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you get it, it's usually ground, you know, in a little spice. Right bottle jar uh it's it's hard to find it whole like this in the star shape but isn't that pretty that is fun yeah i like that so when you make simple syrup it couldn't be simpler right it's a cup of water and a cup of sugar and you just mix it and in a minute we're going to put it on the stove and just kind of cook it over medium heat until all the sugar dissolves and it turns clear and so we're just going to add a little bit of this to it i'm just going to put God, i can smell the licorice i know I'm just going to put a handful, and you can put, you know, if you have a spice bag, you know, to keep the, the debris out, you can add more cinnamon, nutmeg, you know, a couple of other things to it so that you really get that fall flavor. And so when this is done, and next time we come back, I guess, we will combine this simple syrup with our cranberry juice and our bubbly. That'll be yummy. Now, when you're making simple syrup, do you, when it gets thick enough, does it... Do you wait for it to coat the spoon? How do you know when it's done? I just look for it to be clear myself. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm simple, simple syrup. Okay, gotcha. You're getting, you're getting even fancier than I am now. That is fancy, simple syrup. So we are going to go back to you guys in the studio. We're making really fancy tailgate cranks. Yeah, this takes tailgate. quite the conversation about the anise. Is that what it's called? The spice? Very cool. Yeah. Anise, yes. This takes tailgating to Smells a whole like new level. Uh, it most certainly does. Oh. Feeling fancier as the morning goes on, Al. We'll We're see you We're fancy at the Alumni Association. <laughs> Thank you, Al.